Let us welcome Ambassador Marion Miakasimi from South Africa. The stage is yours, Ambassador Marion. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate this. It's an honor to be here. And thank you for the beautiful introduction. Um, I'm hoping you can hear me. Yeah, well, yes. okay. Um, thank you everybody. And thank you for all the organizers for this amazing platform. It really is something that's much needed, especially for the moms around the world. Um, my discussion today is about the you in mom. And to give it a little bit of history, I'd like to go back to us as moms when we were born. So if you have to look at us, we all have a life cycle. That's what our journey is about. One of the goals that I have in terms of what I do is to make sure we can find the most authentic parts of who we are, grow them, develop them so that we live the most authentic lives with the best version of who we can be. So if you have to look at each one of us, each one of us has this life cycle. You are born, that's your beginning of your journey. And when you are born, you're born into this beautiful family unit, which is given to you as a gift. As a baby, what happens to you? Everyone faffs around you. Everyone wants to make sure you're safe and you're okay. And you grow into this as your life's journey progresses. So you become a toddler. And in that phase of you as a, as a, as a girl born, you are now the daughter. And you grow into your life, in your journey. If you have siblings, then you become a sister. <clears throat> but you remain the daughter and the sister and your life journey keeps going. You become a scholar as you go to school, you study as you go to university. As life goes on, you're in relationships, you find you become a close friend, you develop in your family, you have cousins, and then you find your partner of sorts and you become a wife. And then you have babies of your own, so you become a mommy. And then the life cycle becomes such that the baby that you once were in that family unit, you have now a baby in your own family unit. And then you grow in, in, in your journey with that baby in that role. Can you see, though, that in your life's journey, you being that baby and the daughter for you remains as part of your journey? So the question that comes up then is in each of your roles as you as the baby growing up, being the scholar, then being the wife, then now being the mother, has any of your roles as you changed or altered or differed or disappeared because you became a mom? No, actually, most of us in every day of our lives and in every task that we try and approach, you actually retain each of those roles. You have to remain being the daughter to your parent. You remain being the sibling to your brother or your sister. You remain being the wife. You are the mother. And most of us are still career oriented business women. We try and push things forward. Some of us and some women I know are grandmoms. So your life's journey encompasses so many roles. The question that we have to ask ourselves as moms is when we become the mom, when you are gifted with the gift of motherhood, does your role alter so much that you forget you? Because I don't believe that. I actually believe, believe that when you're given that role of motherhood, it actually enhances you. It grows you. And that growth builds your potential. It builds your potential to make sure that you can find the best version of you. Why? Because that makes and builds for the best example for the role your child is going to play. Because remember, their life's journey and the life cycle is starting when they are born unto you. Remember, your motherhood sometimes is not just about you giving birth. It's about you becoming a mother by finding a partner who has children, adopting children. But the fact that you gain that motherhood state is enough for you to build and remember that you are building the life cycle of the next one on their journey. And why not develop you as you grow in the life's journey with that baby? So remember, just as you as a mom are gifted, you yourself are a gift unto the child. You yourself remain that gift into the grand and grandmother that you've given those roles to. You remain the gift because you have given the title of aunt and uncle by giving birth or having this child in your, in your home as yours. So as moms, we encompass so much, but we are warrior women. 
And we need to take this message across to other moms throughout the world. Whether you're a single mom, whether you're married in your family, whether you're happy, whether you're career oriented, you are a mom and your motherhood is your gift. But you being you in your motherhood is the best gift. So the goal is for you to try and really motivate yourself, empower yourself, advance yourself in your role as mom, in your role as the daughter. So as these roles apply to you, you magnify yourself in these roles and find the best versions of you because that catalyst effect is what's positively needed to motivate and empower and advance our children. And let's face it, and I believe this, the best of us are those of us who lead by example. We can talk, we can give talks, and we are so brilliant. All of us on this platform today are giving off messages of such hope to so many. And that alone is what so many moms out there are needing. They need that little bit of a sisterhood which we give. And in our leading roles as sisters, let us also define that those leading roles can be any sister who needs it, because that leading role is the example for the child. I take this opportunity to thank everyone for this wonderful platform. Thank you for letting me talk, for giving off my little bit of a message. And I wish every mom the happiest of Mother's Days. It's amazing and ironic that today is also the birthday of my daughter, which allowed me motherhood. So um, thank you to everybody. Thank you to the Almighty for the opportunity and for us all being the gifts of moms. Thank you again for this amazing platform. And thank you to my lovely sister Adobe. Love you to bits. Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Ambassador Mary.